Hey guys, Michael here from michaelsherlock.com. One of the ways Apple is positioning the iPad is as an ebook reader, or rather, I like to say an ebook killer, because why would you buy an ebook reader that can only do one task when you can get an iPad that does ebooks, does Twitter, does mail, does email, all from one device? And you may be saying, well, of course they're less expensive. Well, the Kindle DX, which is also has a 9.7 inch screen, which is only in black and white and gray, uh, is only 20 or $30 less than the iPad at 499 for the 16 gigabyte model. So they're really pretty comparable to ebook readers of this size, and I think they're probably better. So let's launch the iBooks app, and I'll show you what this reader is all about. So you can sync any books you want in a DRM free EPUB format, and it'll show up here in the library. And you get Winnie the Pooh for free when you download the app. So here are your controls. You can go to your library and see all of them. You can go to the uh, table of contents. And you can change the brightness right from here, depending on what you want. You can also adjust the font. So if you want bigger font, if you have problems with sight, or you want to change what it looks like. So if you want it to be like this or that, you can adjust all of it. And you can also search. So let's say you were searching the book for ambush you search it's searching all the chapters and you have some places where it says ambush happens to be on this page so that's search now let's say you didn't know what the word suddenly was or days whatever you could click dictionary and it would look it up right for you or you could bookmark it or search for that word. So let's say I wanted to bookmark this word. So now it's highlighted. Okay. So let me go back. Not to there. Excuse me. Let me go back here. I can click bookmarks. And then it brings me right back to that suddenly which was bookmarked. And you can unbookmark it or change the colors if you want to. So I'm going to unbookmark it. Let me go back to my library. So let's say you didn't have the content and you wanted to get it you could get it from other sources and sync it over if it was in DRM free EPUB or you could just go right to the store so you're in the store now you can go library or categories New York Times top charts purchases and you could just look here so if you wanted the Willie Mays thing you could click on it and you get a preview so you could get sample and it would put the sample of the book in and you could look at it one thing I didn't show you with Winnie the Pooh when I get into the book I'll show you hold it in this orientation and you actually get two pages and if you wanted to buy you could click buy so I'm just going to show you the process of getting a book one more time so let me go back to the library Let's go top charts, and you also have top free, which is interesting. And let's say you wanted to get the Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, get book. It asks you for your password, so I'm just going to uh, take that off of the screen for one second. And it's working, it's downloading, and this would be the same process if the book costs money. So the Adventures of Huckleberry Finn are loading. It says new because you haven't opened it before. And this is a Project Gutenberg version. So let me go here. Let's say we wanted to go to uh, here. You can go ahead and do it. So the, e the iBook store is a great store. It makes it easy and you can put to list mode as well and you can sort in list mode bookshelf titles authors all that so the iBook store you can sync any EPUB on DRM book you want and you can also buy them this I think is the beginning of the end for ebook readers because why get one device that can only do one thing when you can get an iPad that does iBooks or ebooks really well and can do a lot of other things so I'm Michael Sherlock from MichaelSherlock.com. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Enjoy the rest of your day.